Learn VR MR. Come to the Spatial XR community. Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I will introduce how to develop the MR Mixed Reality. Pass-through functionality in Unity for Quest. Pass-through is a fundamental feature for developing MR applications. Devices like MetaQuest, Pico, and Apple Vision Pro all utilize video see-through VST technology. Which allows us to see the real world environment when wearing the headset. However, the real world image we see through VST is not the same as what we see with our naked eyes. VST works by capturing the real environment with the headset's cameras, processing it through a series of steps, and then reconstructing an environment that looks identical to reality which is rendered on the headset's lenses. The real environment we see through the lenses is actually computer generated, not the reality we see with our eyes. The realism of the real world image we see through VST is mainly affected by two factors. One is the headset's algorithm for processing real images. For example, in early versions of the Quest series headsets, the real environment seen through the Quest sometimes appeared distorted with twisting and deformation. However, with system updates, the distortion in the real world images seen through the Quest has been significantly improved. Another factor affecting the realism of VST images is the resolution of the headset's cameras. After all, it is difficult for camera resolution to reach the level of human visual acuity, and most current XR headsets have relatively low camera resolutions. Therefore, the clarity of the real-world images we see through VST is significantly lower than what we see with our naked eyes. The real-world images seen through Quest, PICO, or even Apple Vision Pro are relatively blurry. These are the current limitations of VST devices. At the beginning of the video, I introduced the concept of VST. Next. Let's use the Meta X RSDK in Unity to enable the R pass throughout functionality in our program, making the background of the program display the real world environment. Okay, I have now opened a Unity project and imported the Meta X RSDK, completing the relevant environment setup. For detailed steps, you can refer to my previous tutorial on importing the SDK. Here's a quick overview. First, open Project Settings, and in XR Plugin Management, check Oculus for both Android and Desktop. Then, open Package Manager. I had previously imported these MetaXR SDKs by importing the MetaXR All-in-One SDK, which includes all the related SDKs. Next, I created a new Unity scene called MR Demo and deleted the default main camera object. In the Unity hierarchy panel, I right clicked, selected Interaction Test DK, and clicked Add OVR Interaction Rig. Unity automatically added a player object with comprehensive interaction capabilities to the scene. Now, to configure the MR pass throughout functionality, I clicked on Meta in the Unity menu bar, then Tools and Building Blocks. This opens a library of functional modules in the Meta XRSDK. 
I found the past throw module and dragged it directly into the scene. Then, I clicked Meta XR Tools and opened Project Setup Tool to repair the environment configuration. I clicked Fix All and Apply All for both Android and Desktop. Unity will automatically repair the environment needed for MR Pass Throw. However, it is best to manually check some settings and introduce what needs to be configured to enable MR pass -throw. First, expand the OVR Camera Rig Interaction object. Find the OVR Camera Rig Child object and in the OVR Manager script attached to it, set pass -throw Support to Supported or Required. When we automatically repaired the environment earlier, Unity set this parameter to supported. Next, scroll down to find Enable Pass Throw and check this option. Although clicking Fix All in Project Setup Tool should automatically check this option, testing has shown that the current version of the SDK might have issues. For example, if I save the scene, switch to another scene, and then return, the Enable Pass Throw option might be unchecked again. This could be a bug in the SDK, so it is best to manually check Enable Pass Throw here. Otherwise, when we enter the program, the background will be black instead of the real-world image. Okay, now I save the scene, switch to another scene, and switch back. The Enable pass -through option remains checked. After setting pass -through support to supported, it modifies an Android configuration file in the project. In the Assets folder, click on the Plugins folder, then the Android folder, and find the file called Android Manifest. This is the Android configuration file, also known as the Android Manifest file. Since the Quest system is based on Android, this file contains important configuration information for the Android application, including permissions, hardware and software support, and Android version support. We just enabled the pass -throw functionality, and it is best to click Meta in the Unity menu, then Tools, and update AndroidManifest.xml. Click Override to update the Android Manifest file. This Android Manifest file only takes effect when we package and run the program on the headset. Returning to the scene, we configured the pass -throw module quickly using the building block in the Meta XRSDK. This object has a script called OVR pass -throw Layer, which is quite important. I will focus on its placement parameter. There are two options, Underlay and Overlay. These options control which layer the real environment appears on during pass -throw.
What does this mean? In Quest, the real environment seen through pass-throw is like a separate layer, while our virtual objects are on another layer. When the placement parameter is set to underlay, the real environment layer will be at the bottom of the entire application layer. The real layer will be beneath the virtual layer, acting as a background with virtual objects overlaid on top. This is how we develop most MR applications, because we want to see virtual objects within the real environment. When the placement parameter is set to overlay, the real environment layer will be on top of the entire application, covering the virtual layer. This is the opposite of underlay. In this case, the real environment will cover the entire virtual environment, and we will only see the real scene without the virtual objects because the real environment is on top. To see virtual objects in the real environment during pass-throw, we need to choose the underlay parameter. Okay, let's expand OVR camera reg again and find the center eye anchor child object. This object acts as the camera, and we see the virtual objects in Unity through this camera. After we automatically repaired the pass throw environment earlier, it set the background type of the camera component on this object to solid color and set the background, camera background color, to black. The RGB values for black are zero, and the transparency is also set to zero. Now, all the configurations related to MR pass-throw are complete. To summarize, we need to set pass-throw support to support it on the OVR camera reg object. Check Enable pass-throw have an OVR pass-throw layer script with its placement parameter set to underlay, and set the camera's background type to solid color with a black background. We can now click the Unity Run button to test the pass throw functionality in streaming mode. To have a reference, I will add a grabbable cube to the scene. In the Hierarchy panel, I right-click to create a cube, adjust its position and scale, and quickly configure it with grab functionality. Now the cube is grabbable. Let's run the Unity program. Okay, I have entered the scene. In the Unity Editor, we cannot see the real environment. We only see a black background. However, when I put on the headset, I can see the real environment through the headset. This is normal as long as we can see the real environment in the headset, which means the MR pass throw functionality is successfully configured. 
The cube object can also be grabbed. To demonstrate the MR pass throughout functionality, I will now screen mirror the quest's display. I usually use the MetaQuest Developer Hub software for screen mirroring. I open the software and my Quest is connected to the computer via a USB 3.0 cable in streaming mode. I click Device Manager and then Cast Device to start wired screen mirroring. Now, with the headset on, the software has successfully mirrored the display. The window now shows the real environment with a virtual cube object that I can grab. This confirms that our MR pass throughout configuration is working correctly. Okay, we have successfully run the MR pass throughout application through wired streaming. Wireless streaming also supports MR pass throughout, so if you are interested, you can use Quest's AirLink for wireless debugging of MAR applications. Since we are developing an MR application, the virtual skybox in the scene is actually unnecessary because the camera's background color is black, and it cannot capture the virtual skybox scene in the scene window. We can disable the virtual skybox to reduce performance overhead. Click Window in the Unity menu bar, select Rendering, and then lighting. In the lighting panel, click environment and find skybox material, which is the current virtual skybox material in the scene. Click on it and select none. Now, the skybox material will no longer be rendered. Okay, in this lesson, we have successfully configured the MR pass throughout functionality. The steps are relatively simple, and we mainly use the pass throughout module in the building block to quickly set up the MR pass throughout feature. 